In this short tutorial, I'll explain how to use conditional formula, otherwise known as if-then-else functions, and how to set the ranges in our calculator editor. Now, here you see a basic example calculator I created a few minutes ago, and there is a quantity input element and two product options, product A and product B. I want my interactive calculator to calculate different product price depending on the quantity a client is planning to purchase. So in other words, it's like a discount calculator. And if you're a beginner, I suggest you use the rich text editor, which will give you more structure when writing down the equation for conditional functions. So let's start by going into the formula element settings. Open the rich text editor and choose the if condition. Then we start by filling the table. So your elements are marked in numbers, and in my case, element 1 represents the quantity, element 3 represents the product choice, and the formula is number 2, but we won't need it in the equation. Now what I need to do is to set the quantity ranges. Set how the calculator should read the product options, I have two of them, and set different prices for each product depending on the quantity. My product options have two values. If we choose product A, it's equal to 1, and if we choose product B, it's equal to 2. In total, let's say my product has three prices and my quantity ranges are up to 100, between 100 and 200 units, and between 200 and 300. Now, always start with if. If element 1 is bigger than 0, and element 1 is lower than 100, and then element 3 is equal to 1, then we multiply the quantity by 10, which is the product A price, or else we keep this whole table as 0. It means if the choices don't meet the conditions, it's all equal to 0. So this equation is for only one condition. Now we repeat as many times as needed, and let's say I have three price ranges for product 1, so if I have two products, then in total I need six conditions. And let's set the second condition. So if my element 1, which is the quantity, right, is bigger or equal to 100, and also element 1 is less than or equal to 200, and element 3 is equal to 1, which means that we choose the product A, then we multiply the quantity by 7.5, the discounted product A price, uh, which fits for the quantity from 100 to 200, or else we keep it at 0. Then we set the third condition. Again, if element 1, the quantity, is more than or equal to 200, and also element 1 is less than or equal to 300, and then element 3 is equal to 1, then we multiply the quantity by 5 which is the lowest price uh, we can give for the biggest quantity. Else, we keep this at zero. Okay, so now we have three conditional ranges for product A, but we also need conditions for product B price. So now I will show you the process a bit quicker, um, because the only things that will change is the prices and also the value of the third element, which is the product choice. So since it's the product B, uh, so our third element value has to be 2. So for starters, it's the same. We choose uh, the same conditions for the quantities from 0 to 100. And if element 3 is equal to 2, then we multiply the quantity by 3.5, the product B price, or else it's a 0. Then if element is in the range of 100 and 200, an element 3 is equal to 2, then we multiply the quantity by the discounted product B price, which is 2, else we keep it at 0. And lastly, if element 1 is more than or equal to 200, and it's less or equal to 300, element 3 is equal to 2, then we multiply the quantity by 1.5, else we keep it at 0. Now let's press the check mark, we fill the table, save, and let's go see how it works. So we open the preview button. So we change the quantities, we change the product, and we see that the calculations are a bit different. So that's for creating a conditional formula using a rich text editor. Now let's go back 
And if you don't get lost in the world of many signs and symbols, you can write down your equation straight into the formula editor. And in that case, your formula will look something like that, even though it works in the same way. So here you can check the whole formula without the table to help you with the structure. And you can also check this initial formula in our knowledge base under the conditional formatting. So that's it. We created a conditional formula with the different ranges and now my calculator will be able to provide users with accurate product prices depending on the quantity they're planning to buy. So thank you for watching.